Okay, we're going to find the fourth order Taylor polynomial uh, P4x for the function cosine of x. Uh, for any Taylor polynomial, um, the form it would be Pn of x is equal to f0 x to 0 over 0 factorial plus f1 uh, first derivative of the function times x over uh, one, 1 factorial plus uh, the second derivative uh, of the function solved at 0 with x squared 2 factorial um, plus continuing until you reach the nth derivative of f solving at x n to the x to the n n factorial so that's the basic form that we want to get in uh, we want to find p4 here in this case so we already have p4 uh, of x that's what we're trying to figure out and to do that we need to first find um, derivatives of cosine uh, to figure out what our coefficients will be for uh, each term that we have so we start off with f of x being cosine of x and then the first derivative of cosine of x is negative sine x and the second derivative is negative cosine of x and the third derivative is uh, sine of x and the last one we need to do the fourth derivative as well and that is cosine of x and then now we have all our derivatives um, up to p4 which is the fourth power um, derivative and now we evaluate all these uh, at 0 and we get what they're equal to so plug in 0 for each x and each uh, derivative and we get uh, this to be 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and 1 uh, so then these are now all our coefficients for these uh, terms in our Taylor polynomial and uh, so now we write Taylor polynomial as p4 of x and we have our uh, f0, our function solved at 0, which we have right here, and that's 1. And then we have x raised to the 0, which is another 1, times 0 factorial, which is 1. And then we add the second term, which is this term right here. And the first derivative uh, evaluated 0 is 0. So it's 0 times x to the 1 over 1 factorial. And we know that's going to go to 0. And then we add the third term, which is the second derivative solved at 0, which is negative 1. So we have negative 1 times x squared times 2 factorial, which is just 2. And then moving down here, we need to do the third, third term in this Taylor polynomial, and we get um, the third, the third uh, coefficient for the third derivative is 0. So we have 0 times x cubed over 3 factorial and the fourth term our last term would be the fourth derivative evaluated 0 which is 1 times x raised to the 4 over 4 factorial and with these terms going to 0 our final equation for pf4 would be p or p4x is equal to this term which is equal to 1 uh, plus 0, we can take that out. Uh, this term we have a minus 1 x squared over 2. Minus x squared over 2. And this term is 0, and we get this plus last term, plus a positive 1 times x4 four, four factorial. And that's going to be x to the 4 over 4. And that's going to be the function for p4 for cosine. And then now, with that result, we're going to go to compute an approximate value for cosine of 1. Um, this Taylor polynomial is a sum of functions that uh, can approximate any, uh, any value that the function has. So we can plug in 1 to these values that we have and figure out um, our approximation for cosine of 1 it would approximately be uh, p4 solved at 1. Uh, this is being p4. Um, so, 
our approximation would be p4 of 1. And we just bring down this, bring down this equation. We have 1 minus um, x squared over 2. Our x is going to be 1, so that's 1 squared over 2 plus our, this term right here, 1 to the 4 over 4. Uh, this is actually a factorial. 4 factorial. Uh, so this is 4 factorial. And then we just simplify that. P4 of 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 half plus 1. Um, 4 factorial is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, which is equal to 24. So that's going to be our denominator here. Uh, and then we simplify this. We make this 24 over 24 minus 12 over 24 um, plus 1 over 24. And then we get 13 over 24. And that's our approximation uh, using the four four power tail polynomial for the function of cosine. And the second, uh, the third part of this question asks, how accurate is the value compared in B approximate to the actual value of cosine of one? Um, so we can do that by using the remainder theorem, which the remainder theorem is uh, the remainder of any uh, given uh, given order evaluated at x is less than or equal to the maximum value of the function times x raised to the n plus 1 power, just n plus 1 power, uh, over n plus 1 factorial. And what that means is uh, the remainder that we get uh, using this Taylor polynomial series, uh, with this approximation, we had the power order of 4. And what this function tells us, by using a power order of 4, the remainder that we get is going to be this equation. And that means um, that's how far off we are from the actual um, value of the equation. So the actual value of cosine of 1 is going to be within a uh, remainder of this uh, this function to the actual answer we got with 13 over, 20, uh, 13 over 24. So by solving this, we get um, how close we are to the actual answer. And for us, we had uh, power order 4, so our remainder to the 4th order is um, evaluated at 1. And it's going to be uh, the maximum value of our function. And our function is going to be cosine, cosine of x. And that maximum value uh, that cosine has is, uh, as the wave here, you can see cosine starts at uh, 1, at 0, and this goes up and down. So the maximum term that cosine has is 1. So back here with the remainder, uh, our maximum uh, term for us here is 1, because that's the maximum value of cosine. And we plug in 1 here, and we have n plus 1, which is 4 plus 1, over 4 plus 1 factorial. And that gives us 1 raised to the 5, over 5 factorial. And that's going to be our remainder. So r4 of 1 is less than or equal to 1 over 5 factorial, which means our answer here, 13 over 24, is within 1 over 5 factorial of the actual answer of cosine of 1.